Hello, my sisters and my brothers. We bring you godly greetings from the Friendship Baptist Church, located at 522 West Main Street in Johnson City, Tennessee. My name is Reverend Lester D. Latin, and I serve as the senior pastor of this church, which has been blessing the people of God for over 104 years. We are preparing to embark on the 2020 celebration of Thanksgiving Day. Let me give you just a little bit of history about Thanksgiving. It was in 1620 in September that a small ship called the Mayflower left Plymouth, England, carrying 102 passengers, an assortment of religious separatists seeking a new home where they could freely practice their faith and other individuals lured by the promise of prosperity and land ownership in the new world. That lasted about 66 days that dropped anchor near the tip of Cape Cod, far north of their intended destination at the mouth of the Hudson River. One month later, the Mayflower crossed Massachusetts Bay, where the pilgrim, as they are now commonly known, began the work of establishing a village at Plymouth. Pilgrims had their, held their, their Thanksgiving celebration, the second one, in 1623, to mark the end of a long drought that had threatened the year's harvest and prompted Governor Bradford to call for a religious fast. Days of fasting and thanksgiving on an annual or occasional basis became common practice in other New England settlements as well. But that first Thanksgiving, after they had gone through a very horrible and horrendous winter, and they celebrated with the Native Americans at that time so that they could give God gratitude for the fact that they were still yet alive with all of the challenges that they faced during that horrible winter time. And during the American Revolution, the Continental Congress designed or designated one or more days of Thanksgiving a year. And in 1789, George Washington issued the first Thanksgiving proclamation by the national government of the United States. And it had called upon Americans to express their gratitude for the happy conclusion of the country's war of independence and the successful ratification of the U.S. Constitution. His successors, John Adams and James Madison, also designated days of Thanksgiving during their presidencies. We have come to a point in the history of our nation that we need to make sure that we are never, ever so ungrateful that we do not thank God for his kindness, for his provision, and for all that he has blessed us with down through the years. So as we prepare to celebrate Thanksgiving on this coming Thursday, let us be mindful of the fact that our God has brought us from a mighty long way. And as wonderful as that celebration was on that first Thanksgiving occasion and on that second Thanksgiving occasion and all of those Thanksgiving occasions even through 2020 to come, we need to remember that who we surely should be thankful to is the God of our salvation. The Bible gives us to know in Luke, the 17th chapter, verses 11 through 19, that there is a miracle about the healing of 10 lepers. The Bible gives us to know and let us know that there were 10 lepers and that they had a disease of leprosy that actually broke the skin down and actually turned them a different color because of the power of that disease. And they heard that Jesus was passing their way. And they went to him, and they received their healing on that day. In accordance with the law, they had to go to the priest, and the priest would declare them as clean before they could go home, clean before they could go back into society, clean before they would be able to do what they had normally done. So they held themselves, lepers did, in those colonies and just huddled together. But when those lepers, those ten lepers, were healed by Christ Jesus, 
They went on their way. They started on their way to go and be declared whole by the priest. But one of them looked at his hands, and his hands looked new. He looked at his feet, and his feet did too. And he recognized in his spirit before he could go back and see the priest, he had to go back and thank the one who provided his healing. Jesus Christ said, didn't 10 get healed? Where are the nine that are not here to give thanks to God for what he has done? But that one leper fell at the feet of Christ Jesus and he cried continually and he thanked God for what he received and how he had received his healing. Oh, if we will only show the gratitude that we should for what God has done. Before, as we said on last Sunday, before we eat anything, before we do anything, we need to give God thanks. We need to show him gratitude. We need to show him that we truly appreciate him loving us so much that he would send Jesus Christ down through 42 generations to bleed, to suffer, to die for you and for me. Thank him for being willing to hang on an old rugged cross to allow himself to be mistreated and to die so that we might have life and have life more abundantly. Yes, Thursday will be a day of thanksgiving. And I'm here to tell you that every day is a day of thanksgiving because God has been so good to us and he has truly brought us from a mighty long way. So as we look at Thanksgiving 2020, Let's look toward our God who continues to bless us day by day by day and make sure that we tell him thank you because thank you will make room for more and more blessings. We want to tell you as you celebrate, happy Thanksgiving. Take care of your family in the midst of this virus. Please continue to wear your mask. Please continue to wear your gloves. Please continue to social distance yourself and keep yourself as safe as you possibly can in the midst of this pandemic. God is still making a way out of no way. We pray God's blessings for you. We pray God's speed for you. We pray that everything that God has for you will come as you give God thanks for all of his goodness his kindness, and his mercy toward you on Thanksgiving and every day. Have a good and godly day. Be blessed and be a blessing. God bless you. Father, we thank you for the celebration of Thanksgiving. We thank you for the blessedness that you have already provided for us. We thank you for what you're doing right now. And Father, we thank you for what you are preparing to do in the future of this great nation and we who are your people and all who should be your people. Thank you for Thanksgiving 2020. We give your name glory, honor, and praise for being the God who makes a way out of no way. We love you and we thank you for loving us. In the name of Christ Jesus we pray, amen and amen.